tonight we will begin with a Leonard Crow Dog tribute. We were blessed enough to have elder veteran executive director of the Rosebud Treaty Council join us for a tribute and a discussion about Leonard Crow Dog. And Leonard Crow Dog is a legend. He was a living legend when he was here with us in the flesh. And as of Saturday, what was the date Saturday? June 5th, Leonard Crow Dog has, has departed his physical form. And if you don't know who he is, um, oh, the 6th, it was the 6th, the 5th, he was, uh, he was laying in bed. And uh, I just want to send our condolences to his, his family and his circle of loved ones. Uh, it's, a, it's a great loss. It's unimaginable. We are not fully realizing what we lost with grandfather, father, uncle, elder, interpreter of the sacred, Leonard Crowdog. So we are going to do a tribute to him with Phil to Eagle. This is going to be about a 35-minute tribute to Leonard Crowdog, Wakan Ieska, interpreter of the sacred. He has saved thousands of souls, has guided more to paths of spiritual liberation in many different ways. And, and I'm just, I'm blessed to even be able to bring this to you. So Control, if we could roll the discussion. It's a, it's a video from the Ocheti Shakui Omnichie, and it, it goes without saying that it, it means a lot to us because this was Leonard Crowdog's last public address. And so I would like to play that at this time. We'll, we'll play a clip from the Ocheti Shakui conference that you sponsored, or Rosebud Treaty Council sponsored. So, Lexi, Phil, if you could introduce yourself. Oh, me talk if you are so there was there and I'll be a fellow. I shake your hands with a good heart. My name is Phil Twigo. Uh, my Lakota name is Hashuka Hisha, and uh, I'm uh, executive director of the. Sichungu Lakota Treaty Council. Oh, and, what we're, and, and what you're about to hear is uh, I'm going to um, try to uh, interpret uh, some words from uh, um, the late uh, uh, Leonard Crowdog. Uh, cousin. Uh, he had the, uh, the, the meeting, the treaty meeting we had. Actually, we call it the Ocheti Shakoni Omenichie, a strategic planning meeting to strategize on how we can get the President Joe Biden to honor the treaties that were signed with our Oyate. Uh, Wopila for that. And uh, Ake, okay, we want to always remember and carry on the spirit of Crow Dog, Leonard Crow Dog, and the whole movement. Uh, designed to bring about our our brilliance and our respect as Ocheti Shakoi. Uh, so control, if we, if we want to, uh, you could roll in the film. Okay, next speaker, uh, I'm gonna get the other mic. Okay, next speaker will be uh, Chief uh, Crow Dog. So he's gonna talk about the, the, the unity of the Ocheti Shakoi also. And uh, there's uh, questions that are want to be asked later, but uh, uh, they're calling it out. So there'll be a uh, question time tomorrow, as they said. So anyway, if anybody's asking. It. Okay, I'd like to introduce uh, Chief Crow Dog here. Oh, Lakshila. Wag looking Hello. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, first of all, thank you to the common man and the common woman 
Chakoja. The grandchildren. And my relatives. On a sacred land. Thank you. For seeing you. Some of you are recognized, some of you I don't. You can Oh, I might say something good accidentally. Oh, you can. Grandfather is where I came from with no pipe. He spoke without pipe. In that fire out in the center, you see it. Seven council fires. Warm yourself up there. My mother will cook there. During that time, I received the understanding. Go, go with the Take it with you. My mother told him, grandfather, my cousin, my little brother spoke. You people he spoke very good. Those that are here, you speak for the people. What we're going to do, the sacred land. I'm sitting here with the grandchild, going to grow up, going to get education in the future. So it will be that I am thinking about this. The children, the children, with the children, seven council fire, and the law, the white man, the white man. The long knives. Think they are powerful. Think they are powerful. Crazy. What he did. He was powerful. On today. We have a hard time. It seems like we're starving, but we are in the sacred breath. Sacred breath. We don't have the sacred breath. We won't have the power. I have seen oh, this. You not turn up on. Oh, and seen the, the pipe. 
Those of you that have a pipe. Now is the You have a pipe. Oh, hey. Chanupa kile wakha. This pipe is sacred. Many winters. We walk with it. Oh, you can. We talk about respect. What is good? The leaders. The leaders. Wakiki, Wakiki, hey, you are Mounius. That we walk with. Doesn't seem to be a problem. I use it. Today. Did I use it? It is, it is scary and then it is good. Pretty soon. I will come to you. I will come to you. I would like to come to you. You are the light in the sky. See me. Respect. Two strikes. Okay. I came from two strikes. Lando spotted tail. You are So that the grandchildren will, will live in good house. <laughs> On speaking in secret, it seems. You're speaking to yourself. No, I. You're speaking with the spirits. You see that they left. I told Grandpa and Grandma left. My dad left. And. Spooky language spoken to me. We got it. We Lakota have it. However, we got to stand on that foundation, that spiritual entity. Sometimes when you speak with your wife, you can tell her. These are serious. The council fight. They didn't write it down anyway. It's in your spirit. I'm going to give a little brief explanation. That I told my grandkids, I speak with Wanahi. I, I talk with, with them. Spirit. I thought I was a Yuppie man. And right in there, I got a, another language talking to me. I thought the highest telepathic communication was Shitu. But you know what? Was Shitu didn't know my dialect. Oh, hey, well, we're going to teach all our little kids. However, we have a 
Good job. Whether you're Catholic, whether you're Episcopal, whether you who you are, put that together and love your wife or love your kids. Okay, the Oteti Shakoinki was gonna go a long ways. Talk about doctor. There is something wrong. Yeah. But we could make it good. We could make it better. All universities. We have universities. We could make it real nice and you could live with or she do way out there. One block. Oh, you can never know the rights. My heart goes out to all the tribal leaders. It's time, grandchildren. You have education. We are smart. The children walk with it. The door in your home. The street. That's it. We got a song coming up from Wakia Luta. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for sharing the stream. Well, I think we talked to you up to low. That's a song. What was drum? Oh, whoop.
Again, that's uh, Wakia Luta Chachega drum group there. And I'm very honored to be joined by Phil Two Eagle, Rosebud Treaty Council. They were the sponsors and organizers of that Omniche, that gathering there in Mini Luzaha in the, in the Black Hills. And none of us knew that that would be grand grandfather Crow Dog's last public address. We just, no way we could have known that, but just seeing that and having uh, Crow Dog's uh, Tahashi Tawa, his cousin, Phil Two Eagle, to be able to translate that for all of us is a, a benefit that we really can't put a value on. And so you, you heard some of the translations and I'm very thankful, Phil, that you're able to join us and, and help us out in that way. I know you've been working a long time toward our, I don't know how to uh, self-determine, like the, the, our ability to stand on our own as a nation. Um, and, and it's, uh, I see the work that you're doing and for however we can help it out, you know, we're willing to do that. But again, for those just joining, this is Phil Two Eagle, Executive Director of Rosebud Treaty Council, Rosebud Lakota Treaty Council. Um, I would like, Phil, if you don't mind reintroducing yourselves because, because sometimes we, we get new listeners all along the way. But if you could just reintroduce yourself, tell us how you got involved in treaty work. That would be good. My name is uh, Tashuka Hisha, Red Horse. Uh, my name, uh, my name or English name is uh, Phil Two Eagle. Also, and um, work for the Sichuan uh, Lakota Oyate to uh, together in unity and to to um, start to start our uh, movement to uh, rights. Um, just want to explain that um, we've been here for thousands of years in uh, Little Island, uh, Kea, and um, work uh, involves uh, making the U.S. government, the United States of America, to uh, honor the treaties. So, um, that gathering that you saw where Kahashi uh, Crow Dog. Um, uh, showed up. Um, he always uh, knew when to come, when to uh, when the uh, Oyate needed him. He would he would come. Uh, we didn't have to uh, give him a party, but we did when he arrived. Uh, we always expect that for him to uh, amazingly um, show up. And give us his uh, uh, blessing, his uh, his prayers, um, because of the, of the importance of the Wakami uh, Chasha, the 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 uh, man, uh, his work for the Oyate. He, um, he's been uh, doing this for uh, probably since he was very young. Um, he uh, the first time that I heard anything about Kim was in. Uh, my mother, uh, Sundance of Paradise, and uh, she told me that uh, my mother's name was Gladys Bravehawk Two Eagle, and uh, my father's name is Clarence Two Eagle Senior. Uh, I come from a family of fifteen, and uh, today there's. The crow dog Kahishuka, she. Uh, First went into um, vision pit, went in underground, uh, uh, vision quest underground, and that that's a very hard thing to do. Uh, very early on, uh, he had a, a a gift. They always uh, told us that uh, you can't um, uh, claim that you're a medicine man. Um, you can't uh, declare yourself a medicine man. 
where no man can declare you a medicine man. It's the spirits that choose you. And uh, he got the gift. And um, from our, what I remember uh, as a young man, I, I, know, I don't know a lot of the um, exact details, but when he was very young, uh, we heard that he brought back the Sundance tree that was uh, arrested at the Oglala Nation uh, in Pine Ridge somewhere. He brought that tree, Sundance tree, back to where they currently have the Crow Dog Paradise, Sun, Sundance, and that's how the uh, Crow Dog uh, Sundance started. So we was very uh, honored to um, be able to have Kahashi Crow Dog at our meeting. Uh, that was May 19th. And we had our meeting was May 19th and 20th. And uh, our, our theme was uh, unity. And so we, we, we was there for a specific uh, purpose. We had a, an agenda and our, our main uh, um, goal was to develop a uh, letter and a white paper to send to the, the new president, Joseph Biden, to uh, honor the treaties that they signed with us. So um, we're trying to be like our grandfather, Sitting Bull Tatanka Yotaka. We always remember all our chiefs and uh, uh, to be strategic and to be uh, thoughtful in our, in our forward movement. And it was a very awesome meeting. Um, a lot of uh, awesome words came came to the people that day, you know, those two days. And uh, we, we it, it, it strengthened us. Um, something we call a woshake is the power of the Ocheti Shaka. When, when we come together, we're uh, powerful. And, and uh, all these minds coming together in spiritual spiritual it's important to uh, remember that when our grandfathers or our, our ancestors our forefathers and foremothers that Fort Laramie Wyoming in 1851 they went there um, because they were under um, the, the, the threat of war they were being killed, um, but uh, the United States saw that uh, the Ocheti Shakomi was a powerful nation, that they wanted to make a treaty with us, a, a peace treaty, they call it. But when they, when our grandfathers went there, they went there with the, um, of securing a, a free and independent existence of which we've always had for thousands of years going back into time the beginning of time and uh, they sealed this agreement they call it Wobhe or Wolakota with the Chanupa with the pipe so you got you have to remember that this work that we're doing is based on Chanupa and uh, the Tehin Chasomi the white buffalo cap woman teachings are those laws that she gave us or our, our, our guiding principles so we, we are through we're looking at or uh, the three principles that will keep the oyate the ocheti shakoni oyate together and that's going to be the lakota language and the um the chanupa the pipe and Wolakota. Wolakota is uh, the, the respect between um, people, between individuals, between the Tiwahe, between the Tioshpaye, the Oshpaye, and the Oyate. Um, maybe uh, you might have some uh, questions at this point. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for that, Phil. Uh, there's two purposes that you know we're 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 blessed to and thankful to have you help illuminate and 
you know, Kari Shuka Woki We wanted to remember him and pay tribute to the work he's done because he, like you said, this Sundance tree that you referenced was here on the Pine Ridge where when Sundances were illegal. And so they had to decide to go forward with that even under the threat of getting arrested. And they in fact did get arrested. Crow Dog then established Crow Dog's Paradise, which we can't really measure how many people were saved there. And Crow Dog went out into the world and he, you know, he, he shared the Lakota Cosmovision and the protocols. And he also was, you know, called called out for that, but he created allies, uh, Hunka of the Ocheti Shakoi, and they all came to our aid, not only at Wounded Knee, Wounded Knee 2, but uh, No Dapple at Standing Rock. And, and in, there's no way to properly give tribute to all the things that all of our leaders have done, and, and Crow Dog is no exception to that. So I, I want to thank you for giving our listeners an inside look. We're speaking with one of Crow Dog's relatives and, and an organizer and a, a states person in his own right, and that's Phil Two Eagle. This is a conference, uh, a gathering that happened in Rapid City that, that we're referencing and we've been trying for a long time to organize unity, to put forth our rightful and righteous claims to the Black Hills, to have a relationship with the Black Hills. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with Dixie Grass, Little Bighorn, so some of our history and our allies, like the Arapaho and the Cheyenne, and even those who during that time were they weren't on our side like the the crow nation uh the pawnee uh maybe some some others but now we're 130 years into the present day and and we're all on the same side now like we're we're all still targeted by colonial oppression and by that system keeping us from establishing these relationships with the land. Now, one thing that I remember that I kind of like you to talk about is, is during the Ocheti Shakoi uh, Oyate, uh, Omniche, the Confederacy is another word that I often use, just speaking in the English language, different, different places, describing you know what we are, who we are. But this here meeting was called by Rosebud Treaty Council and the leaders there discussed not only the return of the Black Hills and how to interface with President Biden or the Secretary of the State for the United States or whoever it's gotta be, but you also discussed renegotiating the, what's, what's in, in colonial law is called the Federal Indian Relationship or Trust Relationship. Now, could you kind of speak on what you'd like to see in terms of renegotiating that relationship with the United States, given our history, because we've we've fought for and against the United States since they created themselves, invented themselves in our would you would you Keawita, uh, Turtle Turtle Island. Um, you know we have lots of veterans. The 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 Tungashla Tawapaha. We have a flag song that we created that recognizes the complexity of our relationship with the United States. But I'd, I'd like you just to talk about what that relationship looks like and, and what you'd like to see come about during Biden's term of office. Well, um, you know, uh, many time we talk about the treaties, honoring the treaties. Um, you got to look at what happened before the coming of the Europeans. Um, so we call them the Skawich Hasha or the Mila Haska, the Long Knives, or 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 Washichu. But you gotta look further back into history first. Um, what's that got to do with treaties? It has a lot to do with treaties. So there was uh, something called the Doctrine of Discovery. 
my friend uh, Steve Newcomb, he, he talks about the doctrine of domination, about the papal bulls that were issued uh, uh, 1492 or 15 something, uh, where the Pope issued the papal bulls instructing, your, this is in my words, um, I don't have the uh, fancy words uh, Steve does, but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, he, they uh, instructed explorers to come to the New World, which was Keawita, and we were there. We were already living there, and but instructing them to uh, come to the New World and to uh, subdue us, you know, to uh, kill us, to uh, enslave us, and to uh, take our possessions and to uh, Christianize us and then uh, and then they've done they've done that they've, uh, 200 over 200 million uh, indigenous people were killed across Keawita probably in, from uh, uh, Canada the North America the Western Hemisphere so when you look at treaties uh, how we lost the Black Hills uh, you know, what Phil <clears throat> is talking about and uh, the, the, just the, the magnitude and the gravity of speaking about Leonard Crodog. I was, I'm reading some of the comments as they come across. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we really can't, uh, can't put words around what we're going through with the loss of Leonard Crodog. So I, I wanted to... I'm thankful that Phil, his cousin, was able to come on, provide a translation, and then, you know, fill us in on what he's doing. You can find Phil Two Eagle. He's on Facebook. He's La Colia uh, speaker, and he was raised that way. He's a veteran. These guys don't talk a lot about themselves, but I, I see them. I, I see what they're doing and completely uh, respect them. And so we, we got into a good session there, and I, I told Phil that we're going to play a clip from his session just so happened right when it, it cut out there and then we were able to reestablish connection after that but if you want to see that you're going to have to go to the podcast where we've got probably 16 different you know hour to an hour and a half powerful material content of of, of, of our lives of things that we're going through things that that we experience the it's, it's where indigeneity meets mainstream impact. You can kind of think of it like that. It's everything that is important to us right now from an indigenous authority, an indigenous perspective.